What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a very niche video for you, however if you're struggling with this, this is the answer for you. So recently I've wanted to reactivate a triple monitor surround vision using NVIDIA on my three screens over here. So I've got my main 2K 144Hz monitor over here, as well as two separate 1080p 60Hz monitors on the side. They're set up here like they are in real life and I've all got them connected to one card even though I could have it connected to two, it doesn't really matter. However, as part of troubleshooting this, I did connect them all to the one graphics card. That shouldn't be important because we come across a solution very soon. Before we get to the actual issue, make sure that you have all of your screens set to the same resolution and refresh rate, so 1080p 60, 1080 60, 1080 60, of course, if you've got a 100 hertz monitor or something like that, you'd set them all to match here. Once you've done that, head across to the Configure Surround PhysX tab over here and make sure to tick Span Displays with Surround and then hit Configure. Then you'll be asked to close multiple programs. I have to close Discord, Chrome is definitely one of them, and OBS. So I'll simply stop the recording and restart it on the next page because hey, who knows why you have to close them. And there we go, I'm on the next screen. As you can see, there's a giant one. And on my other screens, there are twos and threes. So of course, you'll choose the topology that matches your monitors. So you can either select two of them or say one by three and then tick them in the correct order. Otherwise, you can readjust them later, dragging and dropping them around. But you'll notice one thing. It is not 1920 by 1080 multiplied by 3. But there is one thing you'll probably notice here. And if I were to hit enable surround, it would look absolutely garbage. Number one, these screens are all 4x3 at the top over here. And the resolution is 1072 by 768 so only the X is multiplied by three, meaning that my displays are detected to have a maximum resolution as of 1024 by 768, even though in the previous couple of seconds I showed you that my screens are in fact 1080p 60, that's what they're set to currently. So why exactly can I not select anything else here this is the only option. Well, who knows, but I have got the solution for you. If you were to hit enable surround, for me at least the two left and right screens were both stretched out and the middle screen was square. No matter what issues you're having here, simply hit cancel, close out of this, and you can either disable this over here, hit apply, or just close out of NVIDIA anyway. I'll just hit no and ignore everything. From this video over here that I may or may not have linked down below, basically he goes through setting up his triple monitor display and he has issues where his screens are detecting as 4K, which they actually aren't. Now this is a similar issue to what I'm having here, where they're being detected as much smaller. You can see that when he activates it, his middle screen is 4x3 and his other two are also 4x3. Either way, he goes through a program called Custom Resolution Utility. And he mentions that it might be physically dangerous for your screens if you don't go by what their actual limitations are. Say that your screen is 1080p 60 and you try to set up a custom resolution at 100 FPS, you'll probably end up damaging your computer screen. However, we won't be touching any of those here because we only need to go through and verify a couple of things. So in the description of this video, he links to monitor tests, which will also be linked down below to the custom resolution updater tool. Simply hit the blue text next to download over here and download the dot zip, open it up and we'll extract it to a folder on our desktops just for easy access. Once you've dragged and dropped it across, you can close out of everything if you like and just make sure that you have this window over here. Inside of here, we'll be double clicking on CRU and we'll hit yes when asked for admin. Then we have this screen over here. If you hit the drop down on the top left, you'll see your screens listed at the very top as well as a bunch of other things down here, which we'll be ignoring. I'm pretty sure that these down here are the audio connections for these screens, but either way, these top three or however many screens you have are the ones that you focus on. They'll most likely have active next to them if they're currently turned on. By hovering over this and scrolling, you can also cycle between them. Either way, looking at the first one, second one and third one on the list, you'll notice that the detailed resolutions, standard resolutions and extension blocks are all changing. However, the center screen doesn't have a standard resolution. 26 slots left, scrolling up, you can see 1920 by 1080, and scrolling down too, you can see 1920, 1080. And for some reason, the center screen of mine, which is a G-Sync 2K 144Hz screen, doesn't have a default standard resolution. You can see it up here, 2560, 1440 at 60Hz, 1080, 60, 1080, 60. Either way, going across to the screen that doesn't have a standard resolution, 
All we need to do is simply hit the add button, select the correct resolution we want to add. For me, it's 1920 by 1080 and refresh rate of 60. Now, of course, my screen goes up to 144, so I could enter that here, but I'll leave it to 60 and I'll hit OK. Now, of course, if you want to go ahead and push that higher, you're risking physically damaging your screen if you don't listen to the physical limitations of your screen. However, 108060 is a supported resolution of this monitor, so is 108144, 2K 144, 2K 60. Either way, once you've added the correct resolution, simply hit OK, and that window will close. Then all you need to do is double click on restart64.exe or restart.exe if you're on 32. Now, of course, my recording will cut for a millisecond as I'm going to run this here. Your screens will go black for a few seconds and they'll come up as usual, the way that they would if you adjust the screen resolution inside of Windows or in Video Control Panel. So I'll go ahead and run this now. I just need to stop the recording for a second. So after running it, you'll see this pop up over here, restart 1.4 or whatever version the software is, graphics driver restarted, restart again, recovery mode and exit. Now, of course, if something goes wrong, you can simply hit F8, even if you don't see this, or you can click the button. Things went correctly for me, so I'll leave it open just for now in case we need to go back to it and restart again, but you could probably safely close it once we've enabled surround vision. So minimizing that, right clicking our desktop in video control panel, we'll go back to this configure surround page over here. So we'll go configure, it'll ask me to close OBS. So again, I have to restart my recording. But once we've done that, we see the numbers on our screens again. And over here we have our displays. So I'll go ahead and select a one by three topology, because that's what I have. And I'll go ahead and select two, because that's my left one, one, three. Then you'll see that they're suddenly not four by three, like they were previously. They are now 1080p, 16 by nine as they should be. And hitting the drop down, you can see that the only supported resolution is 5760 by 1080. Of course, if we add some more of those resolutions inside of the CRU software over here, under standard resolutions, we would probably be able to select them over here if each one of the three monitors or however many you have, have the same resolution listed. So of course, from here, I could click enable surround and I'll have a one continuous display. However, I won't be doing that because that'll completely break my recording. So instead I'll hit cancel and you'll just have to take my word that this does work. In fact, here's a screenshot of a game that I was playing earlier when I got this to work. Anyways, that's about it. Of course, I have two graphics cards over here, my 1080 Ti and 1080, and I usually have the two side monitors plugged into the 1080, but as part of troubleshooting, I went ahead and connected them all to one because when I went to configure, it wouldn't let me select all three monitors. However, I think that may have had something to do with this problem over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and readjust them back to how they were before. And there we go. Once I've connected them back to their separate GPUs, if I were to go into configure, restart OBS once again, select a one by three topology, two, one, three, you can see that there's a display connection error, which I think has to do with one of the new updates because previously I was able to use triple monitor surround using two graphics cards. However, that seems to have changed. Either way, this video was fixing one issue, and that was the issue of screens not being able to be used in surround because the displays have the wrong resolutions. Anyways, that's about it. You can close the software, restart your PC as much as you want, and it should be perfectly fine as per usual with nothing different. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.